Yep. Go. All right. So underneath here, checking everything out, giving everything a once over. The brake lines, they're starting to crack a little bit. They're starting to dry crack. Might want to think about replacing those. I wouldn't say it's something we need to do right now. I mean, but while we're in there, it'd be great. Um, sway bar and link bushings, that just came off in my hand. They are cracked all the way through. Same with the sway bar bracket bushings here. Mm -hmm. The radius arm bushings up here are in good shape. They're solid, they're not cracking. They look like they've been replaced, you know, I'd say the last 10, 15 years. They're soft still to the touch, but that's because the car lives here and it's been indoors most of its time. Um, we already discussed our radiator hose here. It's actually been rubbing and starting to leak a little here on the frame, on the cross member. Actually, that's the bracket for the radius arm, but, but who's counting at this point? Um, ball joints, the rubber's actually really good on them, and there's not really any crazy in play or anything. Same with your wheel bearings, everything looks good there. Um, your control arm bushings are beginning to split, but that becomes a very labor intensive and time consuming project. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna send you all these videos first, and then we will kind of and talk from there before I quote out all this stuff, all these parts, and go, here's all these parts. And then we pick and choose, or we do onesie twosies. Um, motor mounts. Burns you, let's see if I'll get my light up in there. Okay, right here. Look at that, it's cracking. Can you see where my finger is? You see the cracks? The light a little bit closer up there. Right there. There we go. Motor mounts cracking. This side's even worse. If you wanna come into here, that's, oh yeah, that's done. So motor mounts are a for sure. Pardon me while I stumble around on the floor. Um, again, tie rod end links, or not tie rod end links, sway bar end links, rotten, done. So all sway bar bushings will redo. Um, we'll check this side, ball joints. All your steering, is actually in really good shape and it actually looks like it's been greased because there's actual grease on the zerk fittings mm -hmm. so at least they greased it they could have cleaned up their mess we just had this conversation with john with his 56 about scraping 50 years of grease off so and i drove this car yesterday and the steering feels great feels good there's no knocks there's nothing crazy there's no end play in the ball joints again like this bushing right here. Oh, take a look at this. Okay, so your passenger side lower. Look at the arm is touching the bracket. You see that right there? Watch out. Because yep. the bushing is actually starting to walk itself out here. See that right there? Right there. There it is. So it's starting to kind of walk itself out. So we might end up doing that. And if we have to get in there that far, you might want to just do all your suspension stuff if we have to get it apart in the first place. But let's discuss Gary first before we go crazy on quoting all these parts out. Because we just did that for Peter 62 in class, and I think his parts just for the front suspension for everything. No labor. I think the parts were around 1200 bucks to get the nice stuff from the bird nest. You know, reputable T bird vendor. That's not, you don't just call AutoZone and go get that stuff. And you can, but eh, it's 50 50 shot. Anyway, tires we discussed, we showed, we're going to show that in a bit, uh, how they're cracking really bad on the outsides, everything. But Gary already knows that, but the general consensus, the audience does not know. Um, up in here on your transmission, actually halfway decent I would probably reseal the pan because it is leaking from the trans pan and I'm gonna check the trans mount as well Get that here. Uh, uh. 
He's on his knees again. Oh my god. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Anyway, okay, so our transmission mount, it is, oh yeah, the rubber right here. Come on this side. Look at this. The rubber is actually crispy. I hear that. And it's collapsed down. So we're definitely going to trans mount. Um, exhaust is looking good. Let's check your U joints real quick. Uh, rear seal on the trans. It's starting to seep a little bit. Here, come to this side. Come around. It's easier if you. You gotta, you gotta do the roundabout. Do the roundabout. Do the roundabout. Come along, sir. Come Whee! Along. All right. All right. Now watch my head here. There you go. All right. So. You see our rear seal here? Yep. You can see a little bit of fluid around it. I'm gonna put the light on there it. There we go. That's you can see it when I push on it. Yeah, a little, a little bit of seep. So that's that'd be on our list. Let's check our. Okay, there's a bit of play in our U joints and drive shaft. Oh yeah. So drive shaft U joints, absolutely. Let me work my way further back. Walk with me, talk with me. Or waddle, walk this way! Waddle with me. Jerry, well, I'm not going to get that because he's a musician, so. Gotcha. <laughs> love it. Yeah, it's great. We love him. Um, okay, right here. Rear shock, bushing split. Oh, yep. I'm pretty sure if we unbolt these shocks from the top. Oh, wow, these are original. Yeah, these definitely need to be replaced, Gary. Look, Bernsey, come here. Look at legitimate Fomoco. These have never been out of the car. Oh, that's funny. So we definitely need shocks, probably front and rear. We'll check the fronts here in a minute. Um, but look at the rubber's gone there. Yeah, I guess. And our isolators on our leaf springs. Our springs themselves are good. They're solid. Our front bushings are really nice. I wouldn't even mess with those. Sure. Let me see. Oh, no, never mind. They're nice on this backside. Yeah. Yeah. But the good news is, seeing they're not rusted in or crusty, we just need to rebush them. Ow! <laughs> Differential got me. Um, so we would have to just rebush the springs, front and rear as opposed to replacing the whole spring because the spring itself is very nice shape and the little snubbers inside are good we do need to replace the rubber even though it's soft at least usually you get a car of this Crunch. age and i could do this and this piece is going to end up on the floor it's still soft but it's cracked so the isolators need to be redone we'll put fresh u-bolts on because these have been cut or drug so I think they've been done once in the past, but not any time while well, I've been born. I mean, maybe the late eighties, but you know. Anyway, this side's worse. Look at how that is. That's done. Oh yeah. So all the bushings for leaf rings, all the pads. Let's go check the, what's funny is the front ones, they don't look bad. Watch your head. They don't look bad, but when you get close to them, you can see the cracking in them. And of course, shackles, but every single one of these cars we end up doing shackles on. But they're quick and easy and cheap. It doesn't take long. They're easy to get to. So for suspension, basically everything in the rear, but it's all simple bolt on other than the springs themselves. And then the fronts, we'll discuss. I mean, you know, it's one of those I'm on the fence about it. Yeah. If I was... If it was my car, I'd just do it, but it's time and the labor's a bit extensive. So, I think our next step's gonna be, let's pull the wheels and- uh, Spike the brakes. Check the brakes out. Sounds good.